With two games already in the books in this series, we can only expect the intensity to continue to ramp up in game number three. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. And he puts that one aside with ease. Gets it over to Sabinashad. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. The Rangers gain possession in their own end. New York's got the puck along the wall. And they won't connect on that one. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Crosby. Into the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Grabbed along the boards by Gensel. Quick pass over to Sabinashad. And now he moves it to Kreider. New York's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Latang. Takes the feed. And he regains control of the puck. Maintains possession. New York's looking to break out. Slides it diagonally to Trocek. Slides the puck over. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Rust. Jari's confidence had to be shaken after that blowout loss in the last game. But the playoffs are about the game today, and that's a good start. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Now a quick pass to Malkin. The Penguins are on the attack. There's a chance in front. Couldn't complete the pass. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Hito. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Here in the back half of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And he slides it quickly to Kravstov. Can't make it work. Puck dumped in. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the pass. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. A lot of times a guy will get called for slashing because his stick breaks. When I played, it was wood. You couldn't break that thing if you tried. The Penguins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. This has been a pretty tightly played game, but now they've earned the game's first power play. So they've got an opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Start with an offensive zone face-off and a chance to get out in front. Sooker's got it in the defensive end. Takes a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Shusterkin. Carter's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Nice job tying up his opponent. New York's got the puck along the boards. Schneider's taking it from his own end. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. And he's able to handle that one. Moves the puck. Carter's got it in the defensive end. Goodrow's up and ready to join the play. The Penguins squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Canizzo in front. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Getting into the later stages of this period, the game is still scoreless. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Yes. 
of Binajad's gaining momentum. In the books, let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Advantage goalies for the first 20 minutes. Let's see if we get a goal here in the second. Ray, you're between the benches. How did you see things after that first period? Not really an aggressive start. It's like no team wants to take a chance and open the game up yet. We'll see how this plays out in the next five or ten minutes. Quick feed to Latang. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might... The Pays off with a one goal lead in a second. That was a lot of effort just to get to the lead. Now you want to stay aggressive so you don't give it back. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Raquel. And now it's over to Carter. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves around along the half wall. The Penguins have it from the corner. Quick pass to Raquel. And he shuts the door on that. Shesterkin's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. Bluegers won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. this away really quickly. The Penguins now have extended their lead to two in the second. They've been looking good here so far tonight. I've liked the way they've played, and while the game's a one-goal game, you still have to be pretty careful. Now they've got two. You can open it up a little bit, try and get a third one. Moves it quickly over to Capo. Great save from in tight. He's been really good on these high-danger chances, and here's another one right from the slot. But he's tracked that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. Play whistle dead, offside the call. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. The Rangers win it. Here's a short pass to Kravstov. Pinned up along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Truba. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in the open ice. New York's got control of it now from their own end. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Take it along the wall by McGinn. And that pass doesn't go. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Goodrow's got the puck in his own zone. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Looks to get the puck over to Petrie. The Rangers have it from their own end. Quick feed to Schneider. The Rangers in transition at center. Cutting to the slot. Stones him in front. He tracks his puck perfectly to get himself into position for this save. This is not an easy one. Right from the middle of the ice. Feeds the puck to Crosby. Oh, and here's the pass. Oh, big time save by Shesterkin. Smothered that in close chance. Here's a centering pass, and that goes off someone in front. Puck scooped up by Kravstov. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Passes over to Schneider. Grabs it in his own end. Kravstov's got the puck along the wing. Picked up along the boards by Gensel. Feeds it over to Crosby. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Forty minutes 
minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. Here we go, third period is officially underway. Ray Ferraro is at ice level and gives us his analysis of the first two periods of play. New York's working away and not generating much. That's got to change here in the third period, James. They want to get back in the game. They're going to get pucks to the net. Rebounds that are sitting there, they have to get them instead of having the puck cleared away. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. the wall. Receives the pass. Grabbed along the board by Malkin. The Penguins will play from the defensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Still lots of time left in the period. The Penguins are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Trocek's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. What a block as he lays out in front of it. He gets a blood on it to make the save. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Trocek. New York's got possession of the puck. Poked away at center by Miller. And now he tries to get it across to Carter. From the left side, takes it at center. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Rangers have it now. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Rangers played along the wing. And he makes the save. Jari's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Well past the midway mark of this period. Pittsburgh's got a 2-0 lead. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Shot! That's blown by Shusterkin. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And that's broken up. Here's a chance. And he comes up with it. Sliding across in the butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. From right out of midair, he passes it down. Works it across to Kravstov. The Rangers cross the line and gain the zone. Taken by Joseph. Jumps it in. New York's got it from behind the net. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Reaches out and uses the stick. To the low slot. Way too much congestion blocks that. One into the net. The Rangers have missed too many good chances in this contest. They're trailing because they can't finish anything. Answers the call there. And the puck's booted away. Great heads up play with the stick by Joseph. New York's got a hold of the puck now. That's about as good a shift as you can have without sticking one behind the goaltender. I mean, they have been all over it for about 45 seconds. Picked up along the wall by Super. Puck grab by Ruda. Scores his second of the game. Now here's a little back for you, James. One's good, two's better. He finishes off this opportunity, and now it's a great night. The Penguins have really been strutting their offensive prowess and been impressed tonight. I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. One time last. Locks it down in front. Moves it to Gensel. And the line's broken up. Let's the wrister go. Oh, what a save in front. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Picked up by Hyatt. Quick pass to Trocek. 
and knocks it down out of midair. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Moves the puck to Trochek. Throws a goose egg up on the board. Now, I love how this tradition has built over the last decade or so here, Razor, and the fans love it too. It's really kind of a cool thing. I, I thought when it started it wouldn't last. Now I see why it does. It's a great connection for the players and the fans. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.